the Beatles have put out their final song, Now and Then, that was created with AI restored vocals from a cassette demo John Lennon made of the song when he was alive. Uh, I listened to the song. I think it's incredible. I really like it. It's really fascinating for a number of reasons. And I remember when this was announced, I actually talked about it on this podcast. Um, and it's weird, it's finally here. Obviously, a lot of Beatles chat on the pod recently because I went to see Paul McCartney and everything. But I guess for me, like, this song does feel so important in so many ways. And, and, I, and I will get to that. But, you know, both Paul and Ringo, who are the only surviving Beatles, have vocals on it. They also produce this music video for it, which is quite a special music video that shows uh, a lot of, like, Paul playing next to young Paul and Ringo drumming next to young Ringo and showing all these different eras of the Beatles playing alongside the current Beatles. Such a profound moment, such a profound and poignant moment. And I think this song is so important in pop culture and because I think it's almost like a bookend of one of the biggest pop culture artifacts of of the last 100 years. You know, the Beatles were putting music out in the 60s. It's now 2020. Okay, so it's been, what, 60 years, right? Like lyrical content of the song, which is now and then, now and then I miss you, you know, all these kind of things with that very ghostly sort of voice of John Lennon. And I find John Lennon's voice, maybe I, I wouldn't have described it as such in the past, but I, I do think like you listen to songs like Imagine and some of his other songs, he does have this really... I don't know, ethereal voice, like this ghostly kind of spiritual, spirity, shrill voice, even though it's such a beautiful voice, like it, it has that those kind of tendencies. So when you listen to this song, it does kind of feel like, and I guess this is what it's supposed to evoke, or maybe we're all just seeing it evoke this because we want to, like it does feel like the ghost of John Lennon kind of speaking to you or speaking to the other Beatles or speaking about his life, you know? And I really appreciate that they put the work in to bring this song to life that, you know, was so much technology was required to make it possible to do this. And I just think it's phenomenal what they've achieved with the song, with the music video. And, you know, you watch the documentary, this little 12 minute documentary shot they did in which they basically talk about how Peter Jackson, who did the Beatles Get Back documentary series on Disney Plus. It was him who developed this technology to strip the cassette demos, to strip the vocal and the piano. Um, and for people who don't work in sound, I guess, like if something's just on one track all together, like vocal and piano all just on a cassette demo, in the past, like it's pretty much impossible to have separated that. But what Peter Jackson did was develop this technology that could do it. And I was speaking to my friend from work, Darcy, who's an audio engineer, and he was saying, I would have thought, I thought that would never be possible to do. And now it's just happening. And like, it is quite crazy that the technology that's been able to build this into a song. And when I say it bookends this moment of pop culture, like this is the last Beatles song. This is the last song that will ever feature the four Beatles sort of together um, all on one track, which I guess we would have thought had already happened, but it just feels special for it to like officially be that now. And I think lyrically the song, yeah, just retroactively, even though John Lennon wrote this song, not about this, but retroactively it feels like all the Beatles singing and playing about their time together. It's it's quite special and I'd be keen to know if you liked it or not. So let me know in the comments and everything like that. But yeah, such an incredible uh, closure to the saga of the Beatles. And obviously like Paul and Ringo are still alive, but I think it's really special that they did this before, uh, before one of them died as well. So yeah. <laughs>